Israel attacks Isfahan to destroy Iranian super weapons produced by Russia. Israel's latest alleged attack on Iran aimed to disable the advanced air defense system protecting nuclear facilities. The Telegram newspaper UK reported on April 20th that Israel's alleged attack on Iran on April 19th appeared to be a highly accurate attack, destroying an important part of the air defense system produced by Russia at a large air base in Isfahan. According to analysts and the New York Times, satellite images show that a radar part of the S-300 air defense complex was damaged or destroyed on April 19. Chris Biggers, a former U.S. military analyst and currently working at the satellite image analysis company Hawkeye 360, stated the damaged 3016E target attack radar can be seen in the images. Upload for vehicles carrying the missiles were also moved and appeared to be damaged, Biggers said. Iran received the S-300 air defense system from Russia in 2016. The damaged radar equipment was deployed near Shekari Air Base, just northeast of Isfahan, a city in central Iran where many explosions were heard. In the early morning of April 19th, U.S. Channel CNN cited satellite images as saying there was no evidence of major damage at the above Iranian air base, suggesting that this was an intentional limited attack. Israeli media also reported that the attack was aimed at infrastructure used for air support for Natanz, a secret facility linked to Iran's nuclear program. Israeli defense and intelligence analyst Ronan Solomon told The Telegraph, From what we have observed, the Israeli attack was aimed at neutralizing Iran's advanced air defense systems that protect the sites. Natanz and Isfahan nuclear sites are related to uranium enrichment activities. According to Mr. Solomon, the limited attack will cause Iran to work to restore defense systems, starting with those around the city of Isfahan, an important area for defense and nuclear capabilities. Of Iran, senior U.S. military sources confirmed to Fox News that the attack was intended to warn Tehran that Israel has the ability to attack nuclear facilities if tensions escalate further. Meanwhile, Western officials told the New York Times that Israel's attack was calculated to show Tehran that it can bypass Iran's defense systems undetected and crippled, paralyze them. The Iranian side has sought to downplay the importance of the attack and Israel has not publicly claimed responsibility for the incident, showing that both sides want to draw a line in the current confrontation. Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdali Hian told NBC News, What happened last night, April 19th, was not an attack. However, Iran's foreign minister also warned Israel against any further military action and said they were ready to launch another major attack on Israel if this happened.